kind of numbers would make this one work or make it a more reasonable deal. Okay. Uh, so uh, it's a multifamily property in uh, market, and then uh, there are five different buildings. Uh, they're right now operating uh, the net operating income after all income, all expenses is uh, 608000 uh, for all five properties put together. Uh, and then at uh, about 4.3% cap rate, which is the 2017 uh, market uh, kind of uh, average, uh, comes out to 14.14 million. Uh, asking price is 14.25. The loan that they're proposing is, uh, I believe, they meaning who? The agent and the materials. The no, no. Materials. Is it a, the loan they're proposing? Does that you mean? Is a financial institution proposing a loan? No. You mean the deal they're proposing? Yeah, the the deal and and uh, yeah, the deal that he's proposing with uh, the seller, the agent. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Um, uh, eighty percent uh, debt at four percent interest, mm -hmm. and then given those numbers, uh, with the operating income, the uh, and and result, it, it just the income just barely covers the debt service with about like twenty seven thousand or something uh, left over. But uh, uh, so we were looking at kind of different ways to make this work, um, uh, and and settled on uh, potentially eleven point five uh, million dollar loan for uh, thirty years. Uh, and then four percent interest on that comes out to three hundred and ninety-eight thousand per year. So we can take five hundred thousand. I mean, we can cover it with that that operating income of three six hundred eight. Uh, and then, uh, uh, but you know, assuming this wouldn't be possible potentially in this one since it's already an agent on the market. Uh, but uh, if let's say we, it was motivated by some reason talk to the owner and organize uh, uh, the owner to finance a portion of it. Well, well, why do you say that? Just because it's been uh, uh, represented by an agent, why do you say that you can't get them to take 30% back? You're assuming that something you don't know, facts not in evidence, or that I missed something. Did he say he wouldn't take paper back? No, no. You're yeah. just assuming the agent won't want him to do that. Yeah, you're right. Well... I've done a, a, a plenty of deals where, you know, I said, before this blows up, let's say you're the agent, before this blows up, kid, go back and tell him, I'm walking away, you know, will he take, and I wouldn't have started at 30, I'd do it the Indian trick, i say 50%, I want him to take back paper, and I only really want him to take 20, but i say 50. Mm -hmm. you, you see, you know, the bank that was willing to finance, whatever. so don't assume that, you know, as Bruce Whipple in his infinite wisdom, you don't ask, you don't get. If you don't ask for this, I assure you, you you're never going to get it. Yeah. Back in the 60s, in sex, drugs, and rock and roll, maybe. But not in 2017. 2017, they'd look at you like you're, something, you're a fucking weird or something. Or not now you're a, 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 a molester and a, all kind of shit happens now. So I'd ask them, okay, but continue. I, I understand what you're saying. <coughs> So so and then and then we've we've flipped the other uh, <coughs> million uh, over over some period say say ten years. Okay, uh, through a mezzanine loan or some uh, uh, rich um, uh, what do you call it individual or something, right? That's what mm -hmm. you're not dissimilar to what you did. What yours is uh, yours is my new benchmark. I'll be talking about that fucking deal for until I'm a hundred. I mean that that is the model. He is the model, okay? <laughs> He's the Hunger Game model right there. That's it. But something like that. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Okay, keep talking. Uh, and then what? And, and in this case, I, I actually uh, go to, I'd say, friends and family. There's a lot of uh, Punjabis that do real estate. Ooh, I got a chill up my back when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Punjabis in real estate. Okay. Uh, uh, so so organize uh, either, either float... Uh, have the owner take paper or do private uh, equity from, from I try owner from paper first owner paper okay uh, and so and, and, re and remind me because one of the things that's been missing you did it he has six uh, percent of the dream 
right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, when these other people are talking about, they're not talking about uh, when they take back paper that they're getting part of the dream. They're, they're only talking about taking back paper on that deal. So if they if they balk at not doing it on the deal, then you, well, you know what you know. Implicit in that is you're going to be part of the dream, part of the blue sky, part of the you know. Because this, you know, part of the holding company, in, in, in some cases, you'll actually have to form a holding company to hold the asset and give them part of that. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the kids in the last year, year and a half, have been very <clears throat> um, good at selling that dream. Of course, now the market's going, like everybody, you know, everybody's going crazy. They believe there may, maybe there is a dream. Maybe there is, you know, notwithstanding Pena says we're all going to hell in a handbasket. Maybe there is a dream, and so they're, they're, they're taking advantage of it. So, but anyway, so remember that, 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 that that's, you're selling, you've got to sell them the blue sky. Mm -hmm. and, and I think speaking on that, um, the blue sky for this deal in particular in the Denver market, uh, Denver is oversaturated because a lot of developers have come in. Correct. Land's very expensive. So they're building uh, and overbuilding luxury apartments. So uh, I think average rent in the market's about twelve, twelve hundred forty dollars right uh, now. For what? For uh, an apartment. A one bedroom or a, uh, a one studio bedroom. or? I think it's a one bedroom. I don't think that high. I, I don't know. Uh, it's, I haven't rented an apartment since before uh, you were born. I don't remember. It's high for for millennials with student debt. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and there's there's a lower lower opportunities or offerings for let's say i think on the average the low end is about 900 and rent rates for this property uh, this uh, portfolio is between seven to nine hundred uh, so it's it is offering that uh, what's missing in the market basically okay uh, and some some portion of those uh, uh, portfolio uh, in that portfolio some portion of those apartments have been renovated some portions have not so uh, those other is the renovation cost fa not factored into this in any way? No. Okay. That's not. Uh, and and that's where, yeah, I think there's there's more. So ideally, we want to bring the price down, factor in uh, more of this renovation costs. And, and is this owned by Punjabi? Uh, I don't believe so. It's a company. I emailed the agent last night to find out more about the owner, but I haven't heard back yet. But I believe it's a company owner. So an agent is not a deal breaker. No, that. no. <clears throat> an agent, a real estate agent, is different than a broker. Oh, now, a real that. estate broker is can be an agent, but a broker, business broker, slithers on his belly mm -hmm. like a snake. <laughs> you know, that's different. Yeah, and if he's wearing a turban, I mean, uh, next, I just want. No, I'm <laughs> sarcastic now. Next, just walk away. You know, the. Uh, Unless it's a purple turban. Yeah, well, and what, what are the different colors? Oh, I, I mean, I mean, the, the, the head of uh, the head of India used to have a blue turban. Yeah, yeah. A pale blue. Yeah. What did that mean? Uh, he went to Cambridge. Other than that, I mean, is that why he had a, per, a pale blue turban? Uh, the, I mean, colors don't have too much significance, but white, orange, blue, blue is more representing uh, fearlessness, orange, freedom, uh, white purity. <laughs> so why don't you have a, a, an orange uh, white one? Uh, you you're looking for pure life. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I know. I, I'm not. I don't know. I, I, truth is stranger than fiction. I mean, I don't have to make the shit up. I mean, it's here. I mean, the. Um, I came here to get a little bit dirtier. Well, well, well. <laughs> I, I, I know how to do that. Right place. <laughs> I know how to do that, and you're in the right room. You're in the right. There's a lot of people have sat in here. Like we had a girl uh, who was a psychic uh, a few seminars ago. She sat in here. She says, "Don't you feel it?" I go. I look around. Feel what? And she says, "Dan, don't you?" I mean, feel what? She says, "Don't you feel the the vibes or the, because of all the dead animals in here?" <laughs> no, I don't feel anything. She says, "Well, I feel it." And I said, "Well, I don't." So, but anyway, you're in the right room. You came to the right place, and you're in the right room. I mean, the um, and w w he's got a headdress, but isn't quite a um, a turban. That was given by some of the, the kids, my mentees. I'm sure that the, the 
poor bear is insulted by wearing that fucking thing, but the uh, it's 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 a it's a it's a real one, and supposedly that's a Canadian headdress, Native American from Canadians, supposedly, but the you know the kids don't know, you know, I, it could be made in uh, Thailand, if all I know, I haven't looked to see it probably is made in Thailand, <laughs> the um, but anyway, okay, so I mean this deal given that you can get that 30% bridge, just barely the debt service covers, or the cash flow covers the debt service. But a bank, that'll be too tight. The bank won't like that. That's too close. Mm -hmm. That's too close. They're going to want some fudge factor or some, you know. um, But, um, of course, that's the price they're asking. Yeah. Okay. And the the, the same thing applies to due diligence. Due diligence is, a, is a, an excuse or a metaphor for knocking the price down. Hmm. And in property deals, I mean, there's a lot of things to knock price down on. Yeah. Uh, a hell of a lot of things. This one, this uh, property is located kind of further away from downtown on a in Main Street. Some of the sh- shops in the area are not necessarily high, not necessarily uh, low end, but I mean, you got McDonald's like right there. Some, I think, uh, uh, I forget exactly what kind of shops are there, but it's not not like a very nice area. Well, the road that you take to the um, Denver Airport is Pena Avenue, named after my namesake, the mayor of uh, Denver. No relation to my, he came from a, a rich end of the family, I guess, because I never heard of him until he became Secretary of the Interior, I think he was. Either was mayor first and then Secretary of the Interior or vice versa, I forget which. Uh, and uh, it's 45, 50 miles outside of Denver. Yeah. And uh, and and the reason why is because that was a p- rumor is it's a political payback. Uh, Mayor Pena paid back all the donors for his political career by buying up all the land from there to the airport. That's why it's out in the middle of fucking nowhere. And it happens to have my name on it, which is whether, I don't know if that's apropos or not, but the... Uh, but yeah, but it sounds good. But I I like the uh, you get a better rate if friends, fool, and family, as opposed to the um, mezzanine. But we're getting um, on on the high uh, uh, on, on the high EBITDA multiples, and this isn't such a uh, you know an outrageous thing. This isn't a software deal. But anyway, it's doable. You got to find the other piece, though. Okay. And, and uh, a kind of larger question about apartments, because, I mean, the, the return on a business is much, much higher than, than the cash return or flow on a, a property deal. Mm-hmm. So is that using a QLA model similar to, like, Brownstone, I think is Michael. Correct. Michael yeah. Uh The money would, would come off from or financing, pulling from the Correct. Work, and then rehabbing and then Correct. turning it around. Okay. Correct. Not, but not on the cash flow side. No, no, not well. Very seldom does it come out on the cash flow side. Okay. It comes on the refinancing. Okay. And then exiting. Okay. Or, or in uh, let's say Ravi's case, bring in construction, bring in correct supplies. bolting on correct. Okay. 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 We're gonna re meet in the uh, pavilion at five thirty. Five thirty. Okay. Okay. okay.